Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart here explaining the long position that I'm currently in on Bitcoin and how I'm looking to trade this over the coming days. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and yeah, let's get straight into the action here because it's been great. Okay, so <laughs> let me calm it down. Let's show you how we got to this point. So obviously we were within, within our sideways parallel channel. Okay, we dropped down from this channel. We made our higher low and if you remember back a little bit, this was while we were still formed. This was the higher low here. So this is the higher low from the uh, ascending channel that we had going on to, uh, you know, bring us eventually back into this old parallel channel. OK, so that was the higher low formed of that before we got back into the channel. And, you know, this was my idea at the time that we were going to take the highs. So take this monthly level before coming back down. OK, and as you all know, we did in fact take those highs and we came back down and if you can remember correctly this was the point of control of this structure up here that we came back to and we, we did find support so it was kind of like a swing failure pattern that came back down to find support and ultimately put in a higher low and this was my thought process on that just so you can like get into my head so this was the um trading update that i gave on Friday okay and it was that we had you know we had this was just after the swing failure pattern of the high and you know in my opinion that this swing failure pattern of the high here uh, made the market really, really bearish. And as you all know, I, I like trading contrarian to what the majority of people are going to be trading. So if the majority of the market's bearish, I like to look for a bullish outcome, okay, at least in the short term. If the majority of the market is bullish, I prefer to look for bearish setups, okay? So with the swing failure of this high, my thought process is that the majority of the market are going to get bearish, and this is a really good opportunity or an ingredient needed, you know, to, uh, you know, push you know, back up higher again. So I've, you know, cautiously been waiting for a long position to arise. Okay. So during the weekend here, okay. So during the weekend, I did not take a trade by the way. So I wasn't in a trade the whole weekend as we ranged inside of this channel. And my opinion was that if we had lost channel support, I was going to take a short. And if we, you know, came up bullishly out of the channel, I was going to take a long. So what happened was I was, you know, patiently waiting the key word there, patiently waiting for the setup to come to me this weekend. And it came this morning in the form of a break of the channel okay as we broke the channel obviously i'm looking to get into a long this is a sign of strength and we come and back test it really really perfectly okay so we got that retest of the channel and you know obviously here I'm, I'm going into longs and we can see that we come back up to monthly resistance monthly resistance monthly resistance so really clearly right now that you know the yearly low, yearly open is a is a big resistance that you're at so but i i am currently in a long position right now so i'm in a long and i'll be happy to to add you know if we get a pullback here because there's no saying that we have to just go straight through but we could you know come back but and reject again but as long as we remain above you know seven thousand nine six thousand nine hundred really so this six thousand nine hundred region really key support as long as we remain above that i will happily add to this long position on you know if it, if it does pull back a little bit more and i'll i'll compound my long because ultimately here, I believe that this is a level that's, you know, we can already see the signs of it. So if you do, you know, how to know, know how to read like volume profiles, then you can see the seller exhaustion that's coming on here. We can see the divergences that we're getting. OK, obviously you can use some, you know, other kind of websites, you know, look at your net longs, net shorts, like see how the volume's reacting. But we can see here that there are, you know, is exhaustion somewhat happening so i'm what i'm expecting here you know there's only so much times people are going to be able to sell this monthly okay maybe it does require one more you know um you know kind of power up <laughs> i suppose for a better word better word but um you know before we eventually do break through this level okay so i am expecting this to be broken and uh, where i'm looking to take this long is up to our weekly level next where i think the weekly is really 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 massively pivotal okay so i had a few things i wanted to cover here um, yeah, I'll cover that in a second. But yeah, the, basically the weekly level really, really massive. That's 7,350, 7,350. Uh, and this is like a really big level of do you swing failure pattern or do you, do, you, do you push straight through it? So obviously I'm in a long, but I will be definitely, definitely open to switching this long into a short position if we see the signs of a swing failure pattern, okay? At that, you know, really 7,300, 7,350 level. And I'm expecting it to happen today off of my Fibonacci time. So we will see if this does occur, but I am expecting this break up to happen today. Does that you know result in a swing failure pattern that is where you require data in the time if, if you don't know how to read the charts then obviously <laughs> uh this is kind of what the my group is for where i teach you how to read your charts and also i like post my updates of the trades i'm taking and stuff and uh yeah i'm still in this long position right now uh but yeah that, you know that's obviously uh, for, for you to decide if you want to learn how to trade but um yeah that's kind of what i'm looking at now how i'm expecting it to go and it, what i would say is if you do not swing failure pattern this high so if you do not swing failure this high then you're going to be looking up to like seven thousand six hundred 
all the way possibly you know then you look seven six hundred seven thousand eight hundred eight thousand two hundred eight thousand you know th there's these increments of like two hundred dollars each but you know it can really take off it if it doesn't swing failure if it does swing failure and you see the signs that it's swing failing then you're gonna you know expect this to drop down largely again so uh, you do you do need to be a bit careful here. If you do not know what you're doing, you, you you're likely to lose money. I'll probably say that. If you don't know what you're doing, you're probably likely to lose money. Let's be honest. Um, so. You know, I, I know what I'm looking for. I know my setups. I, I've ha had this plan now for over a week. <laughs> and uh, so it's kind of finally coming to fruition here. So I'm very much looking forward to this. And I am, yeah, expecting another push up here. I believe there's so many bears at this point. Everybody's looking at this as their invalidation. So as we get above this, yeah, I am looking for it to come up to this level next. And, and that's the level of decision of do we swing further and come down heavily? Well, I will happily, you know, switch into a short position, close along. But if there's no signs, then obviously I'll just maintain in my long position from here. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of how I'm looking to trade it. And uh, yeah, how, you know, like when it's like when you have a plan, when you have the plan of what's going to happen and then when you have the plan of it happening and coming into, you know, areas where you can envision that this is going to get the market very bearish. And then like the psycho the psychology then comes into the market of not just looking at the charts, but realizing, OK, a really bearish pattern has just been printed on the chart. That's an ingredient needed to push then up to higher levels. And then you push on to higher levels. I guess you can use Ethereum as a really good example as well. Like the levels that Ethereum had been bouncing off of. This is obviously a really big. 618 okay so seeing that ethereum was on a massive support okay so it just adds to the strength that's in the market in my opinion um you know if you can see ethereum at a massive support a major altcoin and also bitcoin likely to surprise everybody by pushing up then you know it was it's kind of was just like set for a really nice um uh, look at that weekly by the way that re retest here and, and pushing up again like yeah just really 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 nice technical levels like the the technical analysis here has been really respected but a, a lot of the time it's like patience like this weekend i didn't take a position at all i was waiting for that setup to come to me because I, I you know for in my opinion it was kind of a bit of a 50 50 here whether we pushed up or down and then it's like waiting for to go out of that 50 50 situation showing the strength and then buying on the pullback and just the you know the perfect retest that you got of that is you know lovely technical analysis in my opinion so yeah that's uh that's the ta for today a little bit of a different one i hope that you've enjoyed this you'll have to let me know in the comments down below whether you enjoy this type of quick technical analysis update or not obviously if you like if you do like this then all i can say is as well that um you know in the champions group that i'm in here literally every single day and we have like a lot of good traders in here now so there's so you know i'd say about six or seven like really really good traders that we have that are in here daily with me trading away so if you like these sort of real-time updates of the trades and, and stuff like i'm doing like this and like advice questions and answers then you know champions uh, group over at chart champions is the place for you and i will happily see you over there if that interests you uh so yeah that's uh my update for bitcoin today the levels that i'm looking to take this to and the reasonings why i do believe that there's that push to come so uh yeah thanks everybody cheers and have a brilliant day stay alert stay alert because uh, the market's I am expecting it to move quite fast, so <laughs> make sure you're prepared. And yeah, have a good one. Cheers. Bye.